Hi, this is Cheryl. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up on one of my videos talking about going to the library to the book sale. I just wanted to share with you a couple books real quickly. Um, these I bought these this afternoon at the library book sale. And one of these, this one, I've gone through and torn out the pages. I kept three. You can see here. Kept three and um, tore out five. This is what it looks like now. This is the one where I have not done anything yet. So you can see the difference. If I actually use both hands here. The top one is the unaltered book. The bottom one is the altered book where I tore the pages out. Um, so you can see the difference. These were a dollar each at the book sale. And then just a reminder what you can do with them. This is the same size book. And you can um, add your own papers like I did on this one. Or you can leave your pages in the book and then glue other papers on top like I did with this one. This one has, oops, this one has the pages still inside and then I glued other papers and napkins on top. This is another altered book with the pages intact that um, I did add on to this one and I put papers and scrapbook paper and music paper. See that sound of the pages turning? It makes me think this is the Mod Podge one. If you do decide to gut the book, um, it's still fairly easy to put in your signatures. This one has three. You can see where I sewed them. It just depends what you want to do. If you want to keep your pages, um, then you'll need to remove some. Because if you don't remove some, your book gets really, really, really chunky. And it might not close properly. So for this one, this one I'm going to um, remove the pages and then add my own papers. And then this is the one I just went through. And... Left three pages and then um, took out five. What you'll notice on these, I'll try to zoom in here. You have this little bit of paper left. It doesn't really bother me. There's another little one. You know, it just kind of adds to the charm, I think. I don't always, if you try to remove it and you end up tearing your book. Um, so I don't, re I don't remove it. I figure, oh well, it's in there, it's going to stay, it adds to the charm. But some of these photographs are just gorgeous. I might not cover up some of those, but some of the pages with the text I would cover. So I just wanted to do that real quickly so you could see um, some of the possibilities of how you can use your books. Thank you and good night and I'll see you in the morning. Happy crafting!